What's up guys, welcome back. So today we got Yusuke, Yusuke Urameshi. This is requested from King on Patreon. I never watched this anime, so don't know anything about it. But let's give it a go. Okay, landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. We start with his, we start with his eyebrows. So, set a point about here, come up over to the right and we'll just go quite thick here yeah. so we go tick do a check mark just kind of going back this way and then this gets kind of thicker as it goes down Right, like another little line there. And then his eye will come out from behind here, right? So it goes like out to there. And it'll hook down and around here. This is the top eyelid, right? Quite dark. And the bottom eyelid just comes down around there. And you might have another little line just there. His iris. Large old school anime iris, and then his pupil quite big again. If you want, you can draw in the highlights, the white circle, but I'll just do it with color afterwards. You can also use Tipex, just like or white paint, just or white gel pen to go over that as well to add a highlight. Right, so another eyelid line and stuff there. What is on? There seems to be like something back here, like some hatching or something. Not sure. Right, so then we'll go over the other side and do pretty much the same thing. So we'll go up and back there and then come down and get thicker as we come down. Then eyelid line comes out from here, back in. And then this hooks around into there. Quite thick now, the top eyelid line there. Then the bottom one down and back up. Got some lines in there. All right, and then iris, big line coming down from the eyebrow and the eyelid, and then the pupil, big again, color it in, like so. And I think there is some hatching just on the end of his uh, eyebrow there. So his nose, left of center, comes down from this eyebrow. So we go down like that, diagonal, then you go straight and then it seems to like change direction again into there. They draw in the shadow on the side of the nose, kind of Dragon Ball style. And is there another? I'm going to give him a nostril just there. There isn't one in the picture, but I think it needs it. There's like another shadow or something. But we give him a nostril. Do it our way. Right, so then his mouth, right, so just smiling kind of thing, right, going this way. And a bit of a dimple, like a like a circle just on the end. So you just kind of thicken up the end part of that line. And then we have a slight one just across from it underneath the shadow of the nose, just like here. So there's a bit of a gap. And then for his chin, just there seems to be like just a little dot or something there. Like underneath the bottom lip. And then the chin itself. Like so. OK, 
Okay, so jawline. So we'll go like so. Same on the other side. Oh, and you're stopping kind of underneath the edge of his eyes, kind of. This one a little bit closer. Because he might, his head's like a little bit turned away, I think. So like on this side, anyway, it's underneath the edge of his eye, and on this side, it's about here inside the eye. Because that's where you want to change direction. Right, like so. And then he's got sideburns here. And his ears come out from the top of the sideburns, which are like in line with the eyebrow here. See that? And this here, just here. Slightly lower, this one, because of a, maybe a head tilt, but it's lower in the picture as well. Like so, and then lines on the inside. Of the ears. Okay. So his hairline is an unusual hairline, right? So it goes like in here and then cuts back that way, right? So right, and then it will curve around. That way. And he's got all these sort of spikes that stick out of his head. And they're various sort of sizes, right? So you've got like a big one like that and then like a single strand just there. So you could do like a big one and a single, a couple of single strands coming off it. He just kind of keep, and it goes like it curves around his forehead, follows the sort of curve of his forehead. Okay, and then so more spikes on this side of his head, but we'll just we'll go around here for his for his head, right? It goes real round right here, and when we get about halfway across or nearly halfway across, we start adding all these spikes here. So it spikes up kind of like a hedgehog. I'll do it here actually. So we'll just go like. Just keep going around. lines and stuff in there but that's basically the gist of his hair okay and this is all black and there's like some highlights in here but you kind of have to do that with color so I'll leave that and there's like just highlights along here and the rest is color black right so then so he's doing this hand position right and this is quite tricky now because he's like doing this fake sort of gun thing so he's holding like his hand like this He's pointing his index finger at the screen. So, right, no easy way of doing hands. So, these knuckles back here. Let's go, sort of underneath the ear. 
right? These are the, the knuckles of his hand, right? So we'll go four of them. Right, they kind of curve around like this. One, two, three, four. That's his, your, your knuckle of your middle finger sticks out the furthest. That's here. So if you drew a line down here, it sticks out the furthest. And then this goes back around for his little finger. Which will go up, change direction here and here. So that's the little finger and the knuckle for the little fingers like there. Then ring finger, similar shape, just longer. Middle finger, see from here. Around like that. Right, so that will have like a knuckle there. Go there, there, and we can see like his fingernail or something here. So he's pointing his index finger here. So what we're going to do now is something called foreshortening. So when you have a finger outstretched like that, it's real long. But as I turn it, you'll see the distance from the top of my finger to the knuckle here gets shorter. So, and eventually it'll get like real big looking, right? So real round. Okay, and if I bring it up real close, it gets like real fat, you know? So what we gotta do is do that here. So it's a really fat finger. So it goes around like a lot bigger than you think. So you're creating this optical illusion by drawing it this way. You're making people think it's coming towards the screen, see? So there'll be a knuckle back here and then his fingernail again short stumpy fingernail so his other hand is like holding the wrist you could add some like knuckle joints there if you wanted and his thumb for the other hand sticks up here so we got these fingers wrapping around his wrist here, so we'll do those first, I think. Yeah, okay, so. Index finger comes around here. There. Change direction for his knuckle. Change direction for that knuckle and then change direction for the knuckle that joins the hand. It just goes up this way. Then we got like a fingernail here. Then the next finger. Like that, and this goes in behind this. And then fingernail there. So we should see some of that finger, I think, sticking out here. This finger travels down behind there. Then the next finger. Down to there. Down. Around like so. Here. Like that. And then we should see some of that knuckle there. So hit pause now if I go too fast, because this is pretty complicated. This would be advanced. Not art simple. Not art simple at all. Right, so they're sort of holding his wrist, right? So, and you've got his thumb for this hand sticking up here and the thumb at the back coming around. So like, say the thumb at the back here. Right, wrapped around his wrist and then you have like his thumbnail there. And then the other thumb sort of sticks up here, goes over his chin. You erase anything you draw over. And like some skin lines and stuff there. 
and then his wrist goes into his sleeve here, right? So the end of his sleeve is like here. It goes down that way, it starts to go that way. And then the inside of this sleeve is like here. So we've got all these fold lines that'll go around his elbow like up around the other side okay so lots of these folding lines so we got to join this up to the head okay so his collar let's bring it around here green sort of uniform thing around like so and down and you can see like some of his neck just here there's like just black shadow in there same on this side neck black shadow neck muscle neck muscle and this collar keeps going around behind the thumb like that okay So this shoulder has to join the elbow. Shoulder has to join the elbow on this side as well. So folding lines, because we're fabric. Shoulder going out, down, this way, all the way down to the elbow. And then in here, so we have to have fold lines for his clothing as well. And he has buttons. We'll do something similar over this side. So, shoulders sort of sticking up a bit, down, around towards the elbow. Fold line, and it's like another, there's another line going around here. It's like a seam, you know, or stitching or something on the shoulder. And then way more fold lines going around like this. And then this goes down, down to there, down like so. And then another button here with some folding lines there. And I think that's everything. Yeah. Yusuke. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request, King. Anyone else have requests of characters that I don't normally draw? Head over to Patreon. Or even any requests at all of any characters. You can head up, head over, sign up if you can afford it. Shoot me a message. You can even link me the actual image you want me to do. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.